Hello everyone. So in the last video we have seen uh, that uh, we are supposed to create a, a table called staff in our database. So uh, so that it can um, in it can store the staff data whenever we post the the staff object from the user uh, through Postman, let's say. And whenever we try to retrieve the staff data, <coughs> it can read that. Uh, uh, data from the table okay so logically talking uh, our staff object is this in our code so the table we are going to create as staff also should be uh, the same name right and with the same data staff name staff id and age and age and staff id are supposed to be integer while staff name is supposed to be a string so uh, in another words uh, what i can tell is like our uh, table should be similar to this object right so uh, what we can do is so when the user is sending the staff object how how are we going to uh, store the object in our table and when we are retrieving the data from the table we have to take the data and we have to assign it to the staff object and the fields also should be populated correctly okay the the column of the table staff name should be assigned to the staff name uh, field of this staff object and the staff id should be assigned to staff id and age column should be assigned to age of the respective staff object right so in another word you can see the staff object is directly related or mapped or should be mapped to the staff table okay so to do that what we can do is we can simply annotate the staff class with an annotation called act entity okay so when you do it okay for, for the moment ignore the error when you do it okay when you do it what should happen is uh, this the spring will understand okay the staff object a staff class is going to be a table in a database so it's or in another word the staff class is going to represent a table in a database so that in the sense when we are trying to post the staff object uh, the name the fields will be converted to a table and table columns and properly inserted into the database or it will enable us to handle properly the database code that is going to uh, you know happen after this and also in the other way around when you are trying to retrieve data from the database when you have a staff table with the same fields the the, the program will automatically assign the data to the staff object because we have already mentioned this is going to be a table related object or this is going to be a table in the database so when we whenever we uh, let's say whenever we annotate a class with an it at entity that means this is a table in database or this class is a mapped table in the database table mapped class in the database okay so that thing we have to understand so if you click the entity uh, okay i'll see okay let's not get into that at the moment okay this is this is one thing and also you can see there's an error right so it says add id, ID attribute as you know when you create a table in the database you always should have a primary key that is called id okay so the program says when we are trying to create a, a class an entity class that means a, ta a class that is related to table we have to mention in the class which is my primary key okay so to my in my staff class obviously the staff id should be the primary key okay the unique one staff name one or age cannot be primary key okay so i need to annotate the staff id with the keyword called id okay so that is good okay so now the system will understand okay this is um this this is um uh, what do you call this is um, uh, uh, the key, primary key and this is the staff table and also i want to tell you uh, let's say in our our mysql workbench if you go initially we don't have any tables we manually created the database i say that is true but we don't have we, we didn't create the table okay we didn't create the staff table manually we don't even have to create the staff table manually if you run the application okay the spring boot will create the staff table by itself 
okay so it will what it will do is it will look get into this um, database that is that we mentioned in the application dot properties staff management database with the credentials and it will see okay this is i have an entity class but i don't have a, a table in the database for that particular respective class so the spring boot what it will do is it will create the table in that particular database okay the staff table will be automatically created when you run the application okay so that is how basically it is okay so for the moment this is enough actually to create the table now proceed further so i'm moving this uh, key value on the top okay so as as we are good at the moment also i i'm, I'm willing to do one more thing uh this is getters and setters right i have written this get get staff name and stay set set staff name so i want to tell one more thing before that so uh, also remain remember uh we um we have this constructor right staff constructor because in our initially in our code we decided to create staff object manually right because we didn't have any any database related thing but when we move to database and table we don't need to have any constructors here because everything will be automatically mapped when you have a staff object passed inside it will be automatically mapped to the staff class and it will become a table in the database or table column or, or table data so other way other way around when you retrieve a data from the database it will be automatically uh, mapped to the staff object so you don't have to manually create use any constructor in the code but for the moment since we are using the constructor if we, if i delete it it will give an error so once we changed our code accordingly i can remove the remove the constructor okay that is one thing so when you have a constructor with passing these parameters and you are trying to make the class as an entity class you need another empty constructor okay that means when the application is trying to map the data with the database table okay or when when the application is ma trying to map the map a class to the database table it needs uh, an empty constructor because application is not going to pass any data like this okay it, the, the the data staff data you are passing will be automatically mapped to the fields okay so we, if you have a constructor by defined by yourself you need to pass an empty constructor if you don't have a constructor then there's no problem okay for the moment this constructor is being used in multiple places in my code so what i am doing is i'm going to avoid this error happening i'm just creating an empty constructor okay that can be used for the sake of uh, mapping the class to the table okay so what i will do is i will type public staff and that's all the error is gone right so guys when i am done okay so when i am um, when i have refactored my code or changed my code uh, each and every endpoint step by step for my database scenario i can remove these constructors both of the constructors okay uh so that's for the for, for the video guys so we will see in the next video how we can create a repository class as well